You could have taken your time, Polly. You didn't have to rush so. Look, it's not even time for the meeting yet. I came too early, you see. Oh, then Peter's not here yet? That's right. Peter's a sleepyhead, so I hope he won't be late. Rest assured, remember how yesterday he told us he would show us a field of delicious clover. Uh, yeah, but I sure am hungry. Better hurry, or I'll never make my appointment on time. I wonder who it is. Oh. Oh, why, it's my friend Jimmy, the skunk. How lucky Jimmy is. He needn't be afraid of anyone. My stars, if only I had a smell bag like Jimmy, I wouldn't have to be afraid of Reddy one little tiny bit. Oh! Uh-oh. It's Reddy the fox. Oh, did you notice me? No, not yet. Well, what Granny always says to me is appropriate right now. Wait, just wait. Oh, 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 I never expected Reddy to be stalking at such a place. What a scare. What do I do? Johnny and Polly must be waiting. Oh, 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 oh. What a fix. It's already the appointment time. Johnny and Polly will be worried. Oh, and it's already time for me to be there. But if I can't go that way, I'll have to take such a long detour. If I'm real late, it's like breaking a promise. What in the world am I ever going to do? Huh? Oh! That's it! Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! Huh? Hey, Peter, where are you off to? That's right. Sammy is quick-tempered. If I get him angry, it might work. Hmm. What's the matter, Peter? Uh -huh. Be quiet. It's nothing for you to stick your beak into, you, you gossipy jay. What? What did you say? You long-eared moron! Don't bother me, quiet! What did you say, you cowardly rabbit? Sure, I said it. No one's as gossipy as you, beak brain feather face. Good, now's a wonderful time for me to catch him. Oh! So he's coming, huh? Okay. Reddy's in the shadow of that rock. Oh, okay, Reddy. Gotcha. Oh, oh, ah! Hurry, Peter, run, run, run! Hurry and run away! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Peter, it's pretty far away from hell. Help! 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 What's help! this? Help! Sounds help! like someone's help! inside. Help! Better go find out. No! Hey, wait for me! Help! Right now! Help me! Help me! Oh, oh, oh. Help me! Help! Played such a trick. Who? Who? Hmm? Why, Jimmy! So you're the one who played that trick on me. <laughs> Do you know what will happen to anyone playing tricks on me? <laughs> Don't I wait? I said you're making a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't me. Oh, don't. Don't stop it. <laughs> there, that's what you get. No, 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 I told you the truth. It wasn't me. <laughs> I did it. Oh, the look on Reddy's face. <laughs> Feels like nothing's broken, but that Reddy, he almost broke my neck. He didn't do it on purpose. Reddy was, uh... Eh? What did you say? Reddy didn't do it on purpose. I was watching. He was chasing Peter, then ran into the keg. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, Peter jumped over the keg, but Reddy ran into the keg head first. Ah, ah. Hmm. That's funny. What's the matter? Maybe Peter deliberately headed towards the keg, you see. Hmm. Come to think of it, that usually quiet Peter tried to pick a fight with me. Very peculiar. Well, what does that mean, Sammy? Wait a minute. It's funny, we haven't seen Peter after that time, you see. I've got it! What did you figure out? Peter knew that you were inside the cake taking a nap, you see. Then, he lured Reddy and made him play that trick on you. Oh. And then had Reddy punished by you, do you understand? Surely Peter wouldn't do such a thing. No, there's no mistake. It was Peter's doing. Uh-oh. I'll see Peter and ask him if this is the truth. If this is his doing, I'll have to teach him a lesson. should be around here somewhere hiding, so be on the alert. As a precaution, I'm going to go check his briar patch out. I'll rely on you. Oh! Oh, I never ever thought that it would be so dangerous. And it wasn't just a trick either. Oh, won't Jimmy ever understand? Oh, what should I do? Jimmy is keeping a lookout for me. Oh, 
like this. I can't escape. I can't meet Johnny and Polly at the meeting place. Oh, what can I do? Important news! Important news! I've got important news! I've got important news! Sandy, what is the important news? Peter Trick Reddy, which almost got Jimmy killed, which I believe is terrible. What? is really going to get it from Jimmy, so come and watch. Really? Yeah, at the top of the crooked little path is where it's going to start. More fun. Peter isn't anywhere. No, he should be hiding somewhere close by. I've searched all over. Is that so? Hey, Johnny Chuck. I'm glad you and Polly are here. Find him? Uh, uh, Peter, that is? No, not yet. Help us, please. Sure we will. But I just can't believe that Peter would do such a thing. He's never done that before. Are you still saying that after all that happened? No mistake. Peter planned it. For example, if a friend has problems, he would talk it over with Peter. And in his opinion, he would try to help him. I understand, Johnny. I won't try to find Peter anymore. Oh. Really, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jimmy. You're nice. Yes. It isn't that I can't understand Peter's feelings of using me to get back at Reddy for all the times Reddy has persecuted him. But such things, my! It's a small thing when compared to Johnny's loyalty to his friends. Uh... Oh, what a foolish thing I've done. Jimmy, Johnny, can you ever forgive me for this terrible thing? Fool, fool, fool! Peter's a big fool! Huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's Peter's voice coming from the cave. Seems like it. Johnny, you weren't wrong, and now that Peter has been taught a lesson by the bees, perhaps he won't be nasty and mean and play tricks on his friends. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sammy, you're not one to be able to talk about us. <laughs> That's right, you. The time is out, isn't it? Appetites become ravenous. That's right. I found a delicious fruit tree near the walnut tree. I'll see you later. Huh, just because he himself is a glutton. Um. If I'm found by that pest, Sammy, I won't be able to do a thing. Not a thing, and I'm hungry too, darn it. Ready. You ready? With this much distance apart, you'll never catch this rabbit. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's ready. Oh, Peter's in danger. Oh, shh. Peter oh. knows that, Polly. Look mm -hmm. carefully. Peter knows just how much distance he needs to escape from Reddy the Fox. Darn, the wind's blown my scent down to him. I'd better move around so I can get downwind of him. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder if he's given up. <laughs> anyway, that ready. <clears throat> Unless he becomes much more persistent, he'll never stand on his own four feet. <clears throat> One more step. Come closer, Peter. Oh, I can't see Reddy anymore, Johnny. Oh, that's bad. Reddy has moved around downwind. Johnny, Peter hasn't noticed anything yet. Uh. Peter, Reddy's downwind. Run away. Oh, I've had it. Peter, you better take it easy with all that teasing of Reddy. After all, he's pretty smart, you know. Ah, I can Ooh. certainly understand your concern, Uncle <laughs> Billy, but I must assure you that I have nothing to fear from Reddy. Why, with my wonderfully sensitive ears. <laughs> And the ears, unbeatable legs, and with this smart head, I'm not even a little bit afraid of Reddy. Come and find out, Reddy. Now, come on, make your move. I'm getting bored. Better yet, bring Granny. Go ahead, I dare you. Look before you pay. 
It's ready, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. It's ready. Save me. <laughs> Shame to tell you, really. Well, oh, it's my leg. I think I've twisted my leg. Oh, do you suppose you could come down here and look at it? Your leg? Oh. 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 It hurts. That's the truth. Oh, chatterer. Do you think I could play act like this? Oh. Oh, oh, shouldn't we help each other in time of our need? Uh-huh. Well, uh, that's, uh, that's true. Oh, look at this for a moment. Oh, wow, oh, it hurts. That's Reddy's voice. Huh? Reddy? He's talking to someone. Yeah, I really like you best of all in the forest. Uh-huh. I really do. Yeah, I thought for a long time that you were my only friend, uh-huh. Well, Chatterer, you've always been such a good guy. I know you'll come down and look at my feet. After all, they hurt something fierce. Oh, well, aren't you going to come down and look at my feet? Uh-huh, friends. Friends, you said. Of course, friends. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Okay. Stop, Cheddar. Huh? Cheddarer, Cheddarer, now don't you be fooled. Reddy's just trying to catch you that way, you see? Huh? That's right. Nothing was wrong not too long ago. Oh, 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 o
But for you, that's an impossible task. Wow, fool all of the poorest. That's right, Reddy. When all of them are gathered together, you will trick them all at once, and then you will catch Peter, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Reddy, that's right, that's right. Now watch carefully what your granny does. Well, now, here we are all gathered together under the moon. <laughs> well, now, the only moon viewing of the year. There's not a cloud in the sky why we should have a very good moon viewing. Hey, hey, enough of long speeches. Let's be merry and all of us in hurry and call for the moon. Well, well, it's just like Peter says. Why don't we sit here and call for our lovely moon? Oh, my, it's Granny. I don't believe the granny could be sick. I just don't believe it, not one bit. That's mean, Uncle Billy. Oh. Huh? Oh, Uncle Billy, this doesn't look like an act to me. No, Johnny. I tell you, I don't believe it, not one bit. Uh, hmm, huh? Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, my goodness. Hey, Uncle Billy. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny, that was splendid. Johnny, are you all right? Johnny! J Johnny! Terrible, terrible, awful! I've got terrible bad news for everyone! Okay, listen up now! Breeze, will you listen to 
on request? Of course, Reddy. Oh, hmm. What can we do about this problem, Johnny? Yeah. We seem to really have a problem on our hands. Johnny, for a while now, you've been grunting and groaning. About what? Groaning? About Reddy. Oh, Peter, you were here. I was looking for you. What is it, General Breeze? I have a message from Reddy. Oh? It's from Reddy? He said he found some tender budding carrots on Mr. Brown's farm and would like you to go with him first thing tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, budding carrots, you say? My favorite food. <gasps> You're not thinking of going, are you, Peter? Why? Be careful, it might be a trick of Reddy. I can't refuse a kind special invitation like that. I, uh... Then your answer is an okay? Yes! Tell him I'll be happy to accompany him tomorrow. <gasps> Johnny, speak to him. Stop, Peter. If he goes with Reddy, he'll be eaten up. Aren't you afraid? I'm not afraid. Bye! <laughs> wow, wonderful, it's just like Reddy's neck. He is truly sorry that he could not meet you this morning by the bramble bush. But thinking about those tender budding carrots made him so hungry that he departed early this morning before daybreak. He said he is really grateful to you for telling him about those carrots. And those carrots were the most delicious he had ever eaten. Uh, Lady Gentle Breeze, would you tell Peter this? I'm glad the carrots were delicious. Tomorrow morning at daybreak, we'll meet again, and I'll take you to the sweet clover field. Okay? I found it near the old walnut tree, all right? Yes, that's fine. I'll relay it immediately for you. Yeah.
Next morning, Peter set out almost two hours before daybreak. Ah. Ah, that was delicious. No, better hurry home and get back to sleep. I just wonder what happened. Ah, Peter always waits for me at the usual edge of the bramble bush. He never had ideas of fooling me. Ah. Ah. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Freddy. <laughs> Well, Peter, let's go to that sweet clover field. <laughs> I got so hungry, I couldn't wait for the sun to come up, Reddy. <clears throat> so I went about two hours ago. Thank you very much for telling me about that new clover field. You aren't mad at me, are you, Reddy? Uh, of course not. Nothing is more pleasing than to make people really cheerful. I like to make people really happy now. However, I just heard about it, but uh, Mr. Brown, the farmer, planted some cabbage in the corner of his yard. Tomorrow morning at daybreak, you want to meet here and go there? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yes. That sounds keen. Let's definitely go. Okay, then it's a promise this time. So long. <laughs> Reddy is thinking, how shall I eat him? What do I do now? Oh, Reddy's face looks startled. I just thought of something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ready? Isn't that right? And besides, I've already had my share of budding cabbage plants. Mm -hmm. What? What? I just couldn't wait till morning, so I went early last night. Thanks for telling me about the cabbage. Yes, Ready. My heartfelt thanks. Mm -hmm. Don't. Uh... Don't mention it, Peter. It's all right, it's all right. But... Tell me, didn't you meet up with a terrible monster? I didn't meet it. <laughs> what in the world so funny with you, Peter? Tell me, I want to laugh too. <laughs> The monster who frightened you. Mm -hmm. You won't believe it, Reddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was the old straw hat of Mr. Brown's son. <laughs> yeah. I was hiding under it. <laughs> yeah. traps I said he won't be caught. Remember this, I'm not raising chicks to make fox bait.
here comes Tom, and he's carrying a gun. Oh, terrible! Everybody hide! Here comes Tom, and he's carrying a gun. Oh, terrible! Everybody, everybody! Hide! Quick, Tom has a gun. Here comes Tom to the woods with a gun. Everybody, run for your life! Tom's carrying a gun. Everyone, quick, quick! It's about Tom, isn't it? I heard it from the birds earlier. That's right. Reddy can't continue having fun by getting Bowser to chase him all the time. We're going to get hurt. Yeah, this time it's a gun and it's serious. Whoa! Bowser must have found Reddy's track. What do you think, Johnny? You want to go see? Huh? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I don't know why I'm trying to let Reddy know that Tommy's coming for him with a gun. There's not one person in the forest who likes him. Because he's always mean to the weak and always picking on and scaring those younger than him. Mm, frankly, I don't like that mean old fox either. to see that beautiful red fur, guess I'll let him know. I feel sorry for him. Hey, you noisy woodpecker. If you don't be quiet, the fox will be startled and run off. Now you get out of here. Oh. Can't 
he hear me yet? Okay, then I'll peck with all my might. If he still can't hear me, then it's not my fault. Hmm. Here he comes. I guess I'll make another run. on a wire fence at the farm? Or did you run through the thorny bush? <laughs> Please don't go me, Granny. It was just an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're more careful, you'll cause a lot of trouble and have to pay the consequences. Ha, ha, ha. 
She's thinking of giving those three a severe licking, you see. I won't let that happen. <laughs> Look out! Granny Fox is behind you. <laughs> you always crawl home like that? Not for you, old man. Stop your unnecessary meddling. Yes, yes, we'll do, Granny, we'll do. Wait till I catch you on the ground. Granny! What is it? Did you bring me something to eat? Nope, there's nothing to eat. Well, why didn't you? Listen, Reddy, someone like you has no right to eat. What about using a little judgment and a little common sense in what you do? Oh. Isn't that right, Reddy? <laughs> games with Bowser and Tommy, this sort of incident wouldn't have occurred. You should be able to scrounge your own food. Well, I guess I'll go over and pay a sick call. I'm ready. It serves you right. I'm glad. You're always showing off for everybody all the time. That's why these things happen to you, you see? Don't bother me. Get out of here, Uncle Billy. I'm glad. Yes, sir, I'm really glad. <clears throat> now that you're hurt, I should be able to pay a visit to Mr. Brown's chicken house. The eggs there are all so good. <clears throat> If only you wouldn't walk like that for a long time, it certainly would help. Yeah, I'll be able to get up right away. Then I won't let anyone touch Mr. Brown's chicken house. Remember that. I'm going to eat up all those chickens, chicks, and eggs. <laughs> I'll eat to my heart's content. That's tough. It seems like Reddy really hasn't had anything to eat. And better do something for him. 
is so empty, he could hardly move the bow. That's Yep, you're right. You're absolutely right. But have you guys ever been so hungry that you absolutely couldn't bear it? Have you really ever been so hungry that you felt like you were dying? Do you, right? I uh, should we have? Now, I've been thinking, what would it be like to be so hungry but totally unable to find anything to eat? That would be painful. Yeah, painful. Hmm. 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 Where are you going, Joe? Well, tell you what I'm gonna do, Harry. I'm gonna go catch a fish all by myself and give it for ready. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. See you later, Harry. Take care. Bye. That's unfair. I wanna go. You're doing a good deed all by yourself. See you later, Uncle Billy. I'll go with you, Joe. Isn't that nice? I'll tell everyone in the forest about this. Friends with everyone, everyone, everyone. Not just because they're taller, especially if they're smaller. You should be friendly, and incidentally, you should make friends with anyone, anyone, anyone. Not just because they're stronger, you'll find friendship lasts much longer. When you're unselfish, even the shellfish learn to love one another. And an oyster can dig up. Well, I'll be. Isn't this the most beautiful deed I've ever seen? Even a beaver can give a damn. So you must reach out to everyone, everyone, everyone. But I recommend it's best to be a friend. Rabbit! 